about one state house race. A candidate's record as a volunteer firefighter is being questioned. WCIA3's Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell live in our state house tonight. Mark, he has an ad about his time as a volunteer firefighter, and this video is getting a lot of reaction. Yeah, Jessica, last night we started out looking to preview the House race in the 95th District and introduce you to the two candidates, Republican Avery Bourne and Democrat Dylan Clark. But in making some rather standard phone calls to check out the claims on the background of these candidates, we found out that uh, Clark was not actually a volunteer firefighter in Litchfield during the budget impasse, as many people uh, imp uh, figured that his video would imply. But Later, he actually went on an emergency call for a small town station in Missouri back in 2010. He, he explained that later on. Clark was on that volunteer roster for just seven weeks, but he told us twice on camera he was there for more than a year. So his rival, a Avery Bourne, said he should take down the false campaign ad and apologize to our first responders and their families. Democratic State Senator Andy Menar came to Clark's defense. He said he's a hard worker, but he added a point of clarification of a word or two in an online video may be in order. Still no indication from Clark if he'll actually do that. He's not responded to any calls to remove that video, but explained in a Facebook post that eight years ago in college, he frequented the firehouse and he would go there during calls with his friends that were volunteer firemen at the time. He says he did most everything a volunteer firefighter could do, and then after being convinced by those friends, then he became an official volunteer fireman. That stint lasted seven weeks. That explanation did not satisfy several of the firefighters I spoke with today. Here's a quote from just two of them who asked not to reveal their names. They didn't want to get involved in the political fight. One uh, firefighter from Pena said he lied, plain and simple. You can't put that video out there and pretend you're some kind of hero when you're not. It's dishonest. Another from Taylorville said if he wanted to play dress up that bad, he should have just gone to the dollar store. Some harsh words. We, we have much more about this story up on our website, IllinoisHomePage.net. But also, Jessica, there's a long way to go between now and November. This race could still get rather interesting. All right, Mark, thank you so much for that follow-up tonight.